Right now, the search for answers tied to the death of LaShawn Thompson. The 35-year-old died last September while he was locked up in the Fulton County Jail. And his family is claiming that while he was there, he was eaten alive by bed bugs and other insects. The images of his jail cell, they are horrific. 11 Alive's Teresa Bowles has more on those demanding justice. All right, Jeff, protesters say their goal today was to continue to fight for Thompson, and they're calling for the Fulton County Jail and the prison system as a whole to be shut down. More than four organizations unite. Hollywood couldn't come up with a script more scary. Eaten alive by bed bugs. In hopes of justice for LaShawn Thompson, the 35 year old died seven months ago while in the psychiatric wing of the Fulton County Jail. What happened to Mr. Mr. Thompson is basically a microcosm of the prison system here in America, which is, is racist. We are still waiting to learn the cause of Thompson's death. However, we know his cell conditions were deplorable. During a previous protest, Sheriff Patrick Labatt agrees. This is absolutely unconscionable. Yeah. Point blank. And the Fulton County Medical Examiner noted a severe bed bug infestation. We don't know what he could have done with his life. But what we do know is that due to him not being able to afford $2,500 worth of bail, Fulton County Jail decided his life doesn't matter. His hygiene doesn't matter. Protesters believe Thompson was just another victim of the criminal justice and prison system. It's a pain Belkis Duran can relate to. Her son Manuel Paez was shot and killed during a protest four months ago. People that is uh, innocent, are, are dying all over the country, not only here, all over the country. And the jail system doesn't care. The Fulton County Board of Commissioners recently approved millions to improve jail conditions. The Atlanta Police Department is still investigating Thompson's death. Plus, the chief jailer and two assistant chief jailers stepped down. As LaShawn Thompson was dying on the floors of Fulton County Jail, we were at, Ful at Atlanta City Council and at Fulton County's commissioners meeting begging to find ways to get people off of the floors of this prison. Still, protesters say they want the jail completely shut down so it will never happen again. We cannot continue to allow the people that work for us to have blood on their hands. The blood started at the jail and it continues to trickle down to Atlanta City Council and our commissioners. Protesters also said that they plan to hold Sheriff Labatt accountable. They're asking for him to step down as they say pumping more money into the jail is not going to solve the problem.